In this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to make this logo reveal in After Effects. You can download the project file in the description. Making a new tutorial for each day of the year. Day 14 of 365. Import your logo to your composition. I'm going to use this messenger logo, draw it to your timeline, resize it. We are going to use the effect CC light sweep. Bring the center of the effect to the center of your logo here. If you can see that point, if because you are not selecting the effect. So here we have the light sweep, but first I don't want to see the logo, just this light. So I'm going to add the effect pre-tone. I don't know if <laughs> the pronunciation is like that, but add this effect and change all the colors to black. Here, black, black, and move it above. I'm using this effect and not other effect like fill because I have this option in this effect to blend with original. We are going to use this properly later. So for now, turn it all black. Now let's do the parameters. So here in edge intensity, bring it to, I don't know, 100. Edge thickness, bring it all the way up so you can see the light at the edge. For now, bring the sweep intensity to zero. And you can increase the width so it starts like here, 200. We are going to animate the rotation, so the direction. So make a keyframe for direction. And with you, you can see the keyframe move forward like second four and increase the number of rotations to so I'm going to use five rotations and you can preview the rotations here. To make it rotate faster with time, we are going to ease the first keyframe with F9. Go to the graph editor and move this handle and the let's say influence like something like 80, something like that. Move the handle here at the end all the way to zero, like that. And let's preview. You see it moves faster and faster. So I want to make this move faster and faster and get wider with time. So let's make a keyframe here in the beginning for width. Press U to see that keyframe. Go to the end and here increase the width all the way to 4000. This is the first keyframe with F9 and move the handle all the way to 100. Let's preview how it looks. And now let's animate the sweep intensity. So the sweep intensity is this light gray at the middle. So it will start from zero. Make a keyframe, see the keyframe with you. Go to the end and here you will increase it something like 50. It should be white, but we are going to make some duplicates of this layer. So with the duplication, it will become white. So now this is the first keyframe. Move the handle to 100%. And let's preview. So it rotates, becomes all white, and then we have to make the reveal of the logo. So here in Tritone, we are going to make a keyframe here in the end. So make a keyframe for blend with original. Go like one second forward, increase blend with original to 100%. And now you will see the logo like that. So we see the logo, but we have the light of light sweep yet. So here in the end, decrease the width from 4000 to zero. So it will get smaller, the light sweep. And I also want to make it give a rotation, but to the other side. So we went here from zero to five rotation. And here at the end, we are going to, sorry, this should be five rotations here. And here at the end, we are going to set this to 4. So it gives one rotation to the other side. So it goes to 5 rotation and then comes back. And change the sweep intensity to 0. But to still see the sweep here, we are going to move it a little forward in time to still see a little bit. 
Okay, now let's easy all these keyframes at the end and let's see how it looks. Let's make the sweep intensity to take more time. So here we have the keyframes done. Now it's time to duplicate these layers. So grab the light sweep and duplicate with Ctrl D. Open the direction. So double click direction and here you have the direction. We have to add 180 degrees to the direction to have this light to the other side. So go here in the first keyframe and type after the number plus 180. That adds 180 degrees to the previous value. Do the same thing with the other keyframes. Add 180 and add 180. And now let's preview. The width at the beginning is too little, so I'm going to add a little more width, so 250 in both sides. And now we have to make another copy. So I'll make a copy here of the CC light sweep. This we are going to change the color. I'm going to use a color of the logo. So here, grab the color of the logo like this. And let's rotate the light. So double click the direction of the CC light sweep 3. And let's change the direction. So decrease this by 90. So type minus 90. Go to the other keyframe. Type minus 90. And do the same thing with the last keyframe. Minus 90. And let's make the last copy. So copy, duplicate this CC light sweep 3. Double click to direction. Here to the direction we are going to add 180 degrees. This will bring it to the other side. And do the same thing with the other keyframes. And there we have this animation. Now it's time to add the glow. And let's add glow. So the properties for this first glow will be the threshold to 100, the radius to something like 80 and the intensity to 2. You can obviously change this property as you like. So let's duplicate the glow and in the duplication change the threshold to 50, the radius to something like 240 and the intensity to 1. Let's make one last duplication. Just increase the radius to something like 840, something like that. You can obviously change these properties as you like. Like I can here increase the glow intensity a little bit. And let's preview. Here at the end is like too glowy. So I'm going to decrease the, the intensity to one. So yeah, so now it looks like that. Okay, now that we have this animation, press U to see all the keyframes. And here, when it's completely white in these keyframes, make a keyframe for glow intensity in all the glow effects. Then go here to this second keyframe and change the glow intensity to be zero in all the glow. See those keyframes with you. Select all the keyframes and easy them with F9. Now you can trim the work area with N. And let's bring these keyframes of low intensity a little forward in time. So it takes longer to decrease to zero. Oh, it's so, it looks so cool. I like it. <laughs> there you have this logo reveal done. You can find the project file in the description. And I will see you in the next tutorial. See ya.